Yes, I'm standing here near the pier in Bumaris this evening. As you can see, uh, a few members of the emergency services still behind me at the scene uh, here tonight. It happened on Alma Street, just down the road uh, here in Bumaris. Now, we do know, sadly, three people have uh, unfortunately lost their lives uh, following the incident here today. Now, we do know that the police crews were called here at uh, a quarter to three this afternoon following reports of a road traffic collision, uh, but they are still trying to establish what exactly happened here this afternoon. Uh, the ambulance services were called here at the same time at a quarter to three this afternoon. Two ambulance vehicles were sent here as well as a rapid response vehicle and uh, the air ambulance was at attendance too. Now the fire service confirmed to me this afternoon that they sent three vehicles uh, and crews here to the incident this afternoon and I've been uh, on the streets here all afternoon uh, following the reports uh, of what happened here. A lot of people describing what happened as a devastating and heartbreaking. Uh, we have had uh, a response from the Member of Parliament, Furnace Monchina Smedi. She uh, responded by saying that she's thinking of everyone that's been affected today and that the incident has shaken the entire community. Now the police are asking people to avoid this area for now and they are asking uh, for any relevant information or anyone that has witnessed what happened here today to contact, now, uh, contact them. Uh, but Nick, as I mentioned, sadly three people have lost their lives here in Bumaris following the incident on Alma Street this afternoon. Okay, Carolyn, thank you very much indeed and any developments on this we'll bring it to you before the end of the programme.